Mark Zuckerberg is spending money that matches the GDP of entire countries, all for the sake of being number one in the AI space. Meta is constructing data centers so massive they cover significant portions of Manhattan, including Project Prometheus with one gigawatt of power and Project Hyperion scaling up to five gigawatts. Zuckerberg openly admitted to aggressively poaching top AI talent from competitors to build what he calls the most elite and talent-dense team in the industry at Meta Super Intelligence Labs. The strategy gives researchers access to more computing power per person than available anywhere else on Earth, creating an unprecedented advantage in the race to develop artificial general intelligence. Unlike pure research companies, Meta combines cutting-edge AI development with billions of active users across WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook for real-world testing and immediate deployment. This represents the largest private sector investment in computing infrastructure ever attempted, with multiple gigawatt-scale facilities that require their own power plants to operate. Zuckerberg's transparency about recruitment tactics and infrastructure spending reveals the true scale of resources needed to compete in superintelligence development. The combination of unlimited computing resources, elite research talent, and billions of users for testing creates a unique path to superintelligence that competitors may struggle to match. When one company can outspend entire nations on AI development while having billions of users for testing, does anyone else have a realistic chance of reaching superintelligence first?